I am going to show you how I handle my millipedes. There's really nothing to it, but some people out there might be curious. This is my terrarium. It is just a plastic Tupperware, plastic shoe case tub with holes in it. Nothing special. But one of my millipedes is up. He is up a lot. This one here is a Florida Ivory Millipede, and I highly suggest them if you really want a pet millipede that you're actually going to see, because this guy is above ground 90% of the time, usually. The best time to handle your millipede is only when you are above ground. Millipedes will go down and burrow in order to shed. If they are disturbed, if you dig them up when they're shedding, they could die depending on what stage they are in shedding, or by digging them up, you could end up messing up some of their, their legs or their antennae, depending where they are in the shed. They eat their molted skin when they shed, so you're not going to know if they shed. So try to only handle them if they are above ground, out and about, you don't want to hurt them. The only time that I dig up my second milky that's in here and almost always underground is if I need to make changes to this, um, like drilling more holes, I'm still trying to get the humidity and the airflow right, or in order to mix in more leaves into my substrate or to add more substrate, mix it up, make it wet again. That's the only time I usually bother my other one. But it's very simple. You can either just take one finger, depending on how big it is, maybe your entire hand, this is only two and a half incher, and just go underneath their body and gently lift up. Aw, he's going on the bark. But yeah, just generally, generally lift up and... Oh, oh, you're gonna come out now. He wants out. Look at him. You can also grab with two fingers, gently pinch. I'm trying not to do this with my nails, but gently pinch, grab, and lift up. Or in his case, he's going to crawl on me. There he goes. Because he's very active, and now he's going to crawl. He is on the bark, which is why I'm not picking up. As you can see, he's on a piece of bark. When they are on a piece of bark, or even on a, on a very textured stick sometimes, you don't want to just scoop under their body and pick them up, or just pick them up and yank them off, because from, I'm saying this from personal experience, don't just go yanking them off, especially bark. Though you got to be careful when they're really attached to, like, the edge of a bull or on a stick or something, because the one time first got him, didn't know what I was doing yet, I just picked him up, and he was sticking like glue, like a suction cup to this thing, and I actually ended up breaking off some of his legs. Now, when he shed his skin again, it corrected, him, it corrected itself. He's got all his legs back. They did regrow, but it, it is not nice for your millipede. They're going to hate you. So, if they're on the bark or stick or they're sticking really, really hard to somewhere, what I do is I like to put a finger or a couple of fingers in front, and I'll move this leaf so you can see what I'm doing. But I get out of there. And then just gently rub the back or the side of your millipede, and because it's being touched, they will move forward. As you can see, by just doing that, and it's just very gentle, just a little gentle part, poke, or rub, and they will just crawl under your hand. That is the safest way to pick them up on bark or stick, or if they got themselves wrapped around somewhere and they're just really, really sticking. And then you just let them walk freely on your hand. Just be careful they don't fall. Some, some of them just are like darting off your hand and they're not being cautious and they will just fall right off. So make sure you're handling them over something where if they do fall it's not a long drop and preferably the drop will be on something soft like a pillow or the bed or the couch just in case they fall off. Like I said some of them aren't that smart to think about it. And just let them walk freely. Watch children, watch pets, be careful nothing eats them. Do not 
Try not to squeeze your millipede. You've got to be very, very gentle because if they are frightened, if they are squeezed, they will um, secrete a toxin, which is to make them taste bad because they think you're a predator, like a bird trying to eat them. And depending on the species, this toxin can actually contain cyanide. And it will dye your hand yellow. You're going to be scrubbing to get it off. And it does not smell very pleasant at all. It, it burns your nose. So you really want to try and avoid that. If this gets on to anything, this uh, that they secrete gets on to anything, wash it. Wash it, wash it, wash it. So you want to really watch children, you want to watch pets around them because of that. As you can see, he is very, very active, great species, highly suggested. And that is how you handle the millipede.